This video is for fitting a Premier track that is less than 2.5 metres in length outside a window recess. Fitting an Integra Premier corded or uncorded curtain track requires just a few general hand tools, some simple planning and, most importantly, careful measuring. The fixing method for an uncorded track is the same as for a corded track, except for centering the master slides and fixing the tension pulley. Firstly, make sure that you have all of the parts by checking the contents list in the instruction leaflet provided with your product. If you are missing any parts, please call the helpline on the number provided in the instruction leaflet. We recommend that you fix the curtain track to a pre-installed wooden batten if possible. If you are fixing to a studded or plasterboard wall or masonry, please ensure that you have the correct wall plugs to suit your type of wall. These may be different from the wall plugs provided with the track. If you are in any doubt, please consult your local DIY store or a professional builder. Consider how you want your curtain to look when it's in place. Will it cover light switches, sockets or other devices? Will you be able to easily and safely reach the curtain to operate the cord when installed? Clear a space around you so that you have plenty of room to work. Before commencing, you will need the following tools. Drill and drill bits, pencil, screwdriver, spirit level, hacksaw and file. The track can be wall fixed or ceiling fixed, either inside or outside the window recess. When you have decided where you want to fit your track, use the spirit level to mark out the position of the track. If you are fitting outside the window recess, this should be approximately 10 centimeters above the window. You should leave approximately 15 centimeters either side of the recess to allow the curtains to stack back. Find the midpoint of the window and mark the position. If fixing to the outside of the recess, mark 10 centimeters above the window, but make sure that you are not too close to the ceiling or you may not be able to fit the track to the brackets. Working out from the midpoint, mark the position of the remaining brackets using the tape measure, pencil and spirit level. The brackets should be evenly spaced between 30 cm and 50 cm. Do not space more than 50 cm apart. The brackets are a two-part system consisting of a base bracket and a mounting bracket. You will need to fix the base bracket first. If you are mounting onto a wooden batten, drill a 2mm diameter hole at the marked positions and tighten the screws into the base brackets. If you are fixing directly onto plaster, studded wall or masonry, drill the correct size holes for the wall plugs and screws that you are using. Insert the wall plugs into the drilled holes and tighten the screws into the brackets. When you have fixed all of the base brackets into position, slide the mounting bracket into them. Remember that if you are using a two-part track, 2.5 meters or above, the joining piece is the longest mounting bracket. After fixing all of the brackets, measure the amount of track you need. Remember to allow 10 centimeters for each end pulley if you have a corded track. Mark the position of the cut with the pencil. To cut the track to size, lie the track face downwards on a clean surface. If the track is corded, push the master slides and the gliders beyond the cut mark. Remove the pulley covers by loosening the retaining screws and gently pulling the cover away from the track, taking care not to twist the cords. Carefully remove the cords from the track channels and fold them back beyond the marked cut line, taking care not to twist the cords. Using the hacksaw, cut the track at the marked line. Make sure that you do not cut through the cords. Remove the burrs from the ends of the track and return the cords to the channels. Slide the pulley cover back onto the end of the track and tighten the retaining screw. Pull on the cord drop to remove any slack in the cord. The track has a two-stage click system to lock it into place on the brackets. You may find it easier if two people fit longer tracks. If the track is in a single length, start at one end and hook the track onto the first barb of each bracket you will feel the first click. Once the track has been mounted onto all of the brackets to the first stage click, check the position of the track and centralize as necessary by moving it from side to side. Once the track is correctly positioned, press firmly to snap the track over the inner barb to engage the second stage click. Once you have cut the track, you may need to center the master slides. Pull the cord so that each master slide returns to its own end of the track. 
you will notice that one master slide does not fully return to the gliders. Unhook the cord from the locking mechanism on the unknotted master slide, but keep a firm hold of the cord to prevent losing it in the track channel. Slide the master slide towards the end of the track until it reaches the gliders. Pull the cord drop until the slack at the back of the master slide has been taken up, then loop the cord firmly around the locking mechanism. Check that the master slides meet in the centre by pulling on the cords. Repeat the previous steps if necessary. For ceiling fixing or fixing to the top of the window recess, you do not need the base brackets. Mark the end positions and the midpoint of where you want the track to go, and using the spirit level, draw a line between the two points, ensuring that it is parallel to the window. Remember to leave 15 centimeters at either side of the window for the curtains to stack back, if you are fixing to the ceiling outside the window recess. Find the midpoint of the window and mark the position on the ceiling. The positioning of the brackets is the same for ceiling fixing as for wall fixing, previously shown. Drill and insert the appropriate wall plug. Fix the brackets to the track using its first click point. Screw the bracket and track to the ceiling and, once all the brackets are fixed in place, push the track to the second stage click. Using the screws and washers supplied, fit the overlap arm to the master slide that is the same side as the cord drop. Small children and babies can easily become entangled in the loop of a cord, so you must fit the tension pulley to prevent access to the cord loop. Using the two screws supplied, fix the tension pulley to the skirting board, wall or windowsill directly under the cord loop. Extend the neck of the pulley until you expose a hole in the side of the pulley arm. Insert a pin or nail into this hole to hold the pulley neck in the extended position. Remove the central barrel of the pulley by pulling it down and out. Place the cord loop inside the pulley and replace the barrel in its original position, ensuring that it clicks into position. Take up the cord slack in the pulley by pulling one of the knotted cord ends at the master slide until the cord loop sits inside the pulley barrel. Tie a knot in the cord directly behind the master slide. Remove the pin or nail from the hole in the pulley neck. The neck will now slide back inside the pulley body and tighten the cord in the tension pulley. If the cord still feels a little slack, go back to the master slide and pull the cord tighter, retying the knot when the cord feels tight in the tension pulley. Only when you are satisfied that the cord is tight in the tension pulley, cut the excess cord at the master slide, being careful to cut the cord in front of the knot so that the knot stays in place. If you remove the knot, the cord will unravel. If the cord becomes twisted, rotate the head of the tension pulley to untwist the cord. Now you are ready to hang your curtains.